Hello folks and welcome. I have uh, a distribution overview and a tour today of Mobox. It's a uh, open box window manager from Poland. It's Manjaro based, but I will give you information based on what we have on DistroWatch um, from, so you can see this for yourself. So I'm gonna log into DistroWatch for a second. Um, if you don't know too much about this YouTube site, I'm sorry, the not YouTube site, this uh, web page. Um, DistroWatch has a lot of Linux based information. And you can also get that link through my YouTube site also. So, Mobbox falls at, uh, let me scroll that back a little bit. Mobbox falls at number 41. And um, I'll probably resize this again, make this a little bit larger for you. Uh, so, anyways, you have a screenshot of the uh, desktop and um, Mobbox is a Manjaro Arch based distribution out of Poland. They use uh, Openbox for a desktop and uh, they do have a live medium. So, basically, you can go and uh, check out their, um, their website here. And it is a Manjaro based. Okay, so just wanted to point that out. They uh, also state that they're lightweight and fast. And I, I We'll say that's true after the install. This is quite zippy. So I'm going to uh, close this down. And um, this is the, the welcome screen. And uh, basically, I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. So starting where? How about if we start with this little arrow? So different ways of navigation. All kinds of different ways. I'll get into the file manager in a second. Lots of different things. There's an exit button here. There's also a, um, a power button over here in the top right hand corner. So we have this menu here, which you can do searches. We have a uh, shortcut to terminal. There's one up there also. And, uh, and I might as well open that now and just get this out of the way. I'm just, I'm just gonna use uh, NeoFetch for system information. Don't read too much into the hardware because I do other things with these machines. But this is Mobbox, and um, the latest version as of March of uh, 2023. I'm not sure when you're going to be watching this. I'm filming in 1080. Uh, this is capable of doing 4K, and it looked very nice in 4K. But for filming purposes and demoing, I usually like to film it with the large text and icons. So the window manager is open box. Other than that, I'm going to close that. So we have the show desktop, that kind of stuff, and I'm gonna skip over that and, and click on the file manager. So if you click it in this fashion, you'll have kind of like uh, your sub areas that you can go into your file manager, or you can just right click on it and it'll open up in this mode. I have this set for very large icons. And uh, this again is PC Man FM for the lightweight file manager. And I can resize it my way. And all I'm doing here, folks, is holding down my control key with my left hand while using my, uh, my mouse scroll wheel with the other hand. As I scroll, I just uh, get it to the size I want, release the control key, and it stays. This comes in handy, so I brought in my own wallpaper folder. So I'll resize that a little bit. And you can take any one of these things to set it as wallpaper. So these could be photos of your children, your your pets, your friends, uh, or something in nature. Lots of pictures of that. So going back to the home folder, um, this distribution provides you with a folder that says wallpapers on it. So um, unlike some distributions, you won't find a folder pre-installed, this one is. So I'm gonna double click on that and let you see the wallpaper that they provided. That comes with the installation. Lots of little uh, nice photos or wallpapers here. Again, very simple, set as wallpaper. Okay, so with that said, um, I'm just gonna briefly talk about the installer. So if you are installing uh, Mobox, you are presented with different ways you can format your hard drive. So the uh, default is extension four. You also have the options of BTRFS, F2FS, and XFS. Just wanted to make that clear in case you are wondering about different file formats for formatting your drive. Again, that is terminal, so I'm just gonna skip over that. The web browser, in this case, is Firefox. So I'll open that one more time. 
and then allow it to go directly to the default web page that comes already installed. It's a nice pleasant looking interface. I'll resize this a little bit down and let you see there's more stuff in here and then I'll resize this back up. Okay, and I just threw that tab in there because of what I was showing you earlier about the distribution. So I'm going to close that and continue. The colorizer is kind of interesting. So if you're going to make changes to your system, I would probably recommend screenshots. Okay, now as we move along, I am going to go through this very speedily, if I can use that word. Just giving you an idea what's in here. Okay, I'm not going to click on these things. So that's the colorizer. The, my simple screen recorder is currently running that. And I did actually install that out of the package manager. So um, you can also, let's see, I think it was the welcome screen or was it system information? To, uh, I may have had it under system information. Let me try that one. Uh, that would be just the kernel information. Well, there's the add and remove. Um, I might as well just open this. So there's your package manager. Again, you can use terminal to install stuff. So it's PyMac. And that's pretty simple to navigate. Just, uh, any, that's installed, obviously, if you want a blender, for instance. You got an install key or you could have done it with the other the other screen there so i'm going to close that um, right clicking on your screen does a lot of magic you can see all the different categories that you can have and you can of course do it this way and you can also do it this way all right so um that's right clicking on the screen it's got a search feature and you can see all the different stuff. Here's another shortcut to your file manager and web browser and uh, the con control center. That's what I was looking for. So now you can uh, jump over to your package managers and get other information. These are clickable. And the help screen. So um, as you go through this, again, lightweight. I find it to be a lightweight uh, um, distribution so far. So anyways, close that. Up at the top here, that's my simple screen recorder running. And then you have some other information about CPU memory and et cetera. Wireless uh, volume, if you uh, want to change that, the uh, screenshot tool, the clock thing with mini calendar, your power button does multiple things and the other arrow button for other stuff as one would put it and you also have another way of shutting it down this way and then an info box running here so some shortcuts here that you may see visible for terminal would be super button kind of some people call it the windows button uh, it's normally found in between your control and alt key somewhere so if i press that uh, the super t opens up my terminal box and um, yeah, I think that's enough on that. Right click. And we also have an exit button here. So there's a lot of different things you can do shortcuts with in here, I noticed. Multiple ways of getting a hold of a lot of things. And you know that the, the file manager is fairly pleasing. Again, if you don't like big icons, then scroll them back. All I'm doing is holding down my control key. But if you can do it the old fashioned way. So click these guys in here and you have some options, lots of options in here. So for a lightweight uh, file manager, um, this has a lot of options also. Other than that, I think I am pretty much done giving you the overview of this thing. Um, I, it's a very fast install, somewhere in the vicinity around 10 minutes, boots up rather quickly. Again, it says a lightweight and fast distribution open box out of Poland with the uh, the uh, based on Manjaro. And uh, that's all I have for you folks today. Thank you for watching.